or even a little bit above, but parallel is definitely the minimum you're about the minimum to go to. It's going to take away from how much the glutes are doing and your quads are going to be doing most of the work. So that's where kind of the hip thrust exercise kind of comes in. Now you don't have to use a bar like this. I just get it because I'll show you why I think this was a great um, investment to be able to do it. You can do it with just a normal straight bar. You don't need um, to use a bench like this or even a standard bench. There's no problem in just doing them on the ground. You don't even need a bar at all. You can simply go down and do kind of some hip bridging which is basically what a hip thrust is, just on the ground and that will work as well. It's just to add that little bit of extra weight to um, push you a little bit more. So on this then, you can sit down and as you can see, this bench has a nice pad there in front. So what I found with people is when they were doing the hip thrust, when they went to push against the bench, the bench might move um, and they weren't really going around the bench and the bench might shift a little bit. So it, it just um, didn't really have enough confidence that the bench was going to stay where it was. Um, and also, when you roll in a bar, so this is, we see it now, when we roll this bar in. It's also a comfort, so you see a nice big, nice thick pad there, which is important, because a lot of people find that they dig into their hips, so, and you see them putting mats and things in, but this is much more comfortable. When I flip this up, you'll see where it gives you the extra space. So now, that will be the height of, say, a normal bar going across here, and you feel like you're a little bit pinned in, is what people thought especially clients coming in, so I wanted to make things as comfortable as possible for them. When you roll this in then, you can flip that up and that gives you loads of space to try and get in position and get the feet down on that pad and then you can move up. And as I said, you can adjust yourself a little bit. So you want to be careful with the foot position, so remember, point the toes just a little bit out and then trust up on that then. And it's really comfortable on the pad, you don't need any digging in or anything on the hips which is great and then when you go back down you have complete control of the bar so you can pop that down and it's nice and easy to roll out just one last tip on doing the hip thrust when you're going back on the bench make sure that you don't stay facing forward and you're trying to kind of arch the back get the hips down and you're going up this whole upper body comes forward and up so you're kind of always moving kind of around the bench but make sure that the shoulders most of the shoulder when you do go up is on the bench, don't over extend the top leg, like really push them up. You're just coming up just to almost where it's flat out. They're just kind of a few important things. With the last little bit there, you might notice as much if you're going light, but when you start going heavy, you'll feel the back and get under a little bit of pressure when you push up that much. So that's today's video today. As I said, from what I said in the Spotify, on Spotify, on the podcast, the workshop podcast. Uh, we we're just doing a little bit of a crossover today. Sometimes from now on we'll do that. Now I'm back up doing the videos. That if we're talk if I'm talking about certain things in the podcast, then I might sh if I think that a visual is will be better, we might also do a video on it. So I hope you seen what I was talking about on the podcast. So go on to Spotify, follow me, listen to it. there's thirty odd episodes up there now. I think we're up to thirty one, and uh, some of them then are on Patreon. Um, on Patreon, just the difference is it's just completely about the, the topic at hand, uh, the gym topic, where on Spotify, just talk about a few different things. Oh my god, I didn't record that. What? That's today's video done and dusted. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and from all the people who watch the videos and listen to my podcast on Spotify, as I said, thanks always. Um, the music actually um, changed the intro on the videos and the outro music. It's just the start of one of my favorite songs. And then a little bit uh, towards the end, like I said, the outro is the song again, and it's, um, don't You Worry Tony by Ute Mass. So I hope they don't mind me using it because as I said, it's one of my favorite songs. Maybe, I don't know what the story is, whether they are still active, whether they're still playing. I'm not sure, I haven't really seen anything from them in a while. But there is plenty of songs on YouTube and on the channel so you can check them out. Once again, thanks for watching. That's us done and dusted. Until the next time, train hard, be safe, and we should talk to you soon.